The weather is beautiful right now, so it's prime time to be putting all kinds of stuff in the garden. Khaled here with the Plant Armor channel. Today I'm showing you guys how to plant beautiful lettuces in your vertical systems. All right, so let's just start by having a look at what we are planting today. Of course, we're not going to plant these two entire trays because that's about 100. No, it's not about. It's actually 150 plants between the two of them, 144. But I want to give you guys a bit of information on these plants here and why I'm choosing this to go into vertical systems. So the lettuce we have right here is a lettuce called Sigolen. You guys have probably seen me grow that quite a bit in the last few years. It's one of my favorite lettuces. It's a half bib, half Boston. Uh, lettuce that produces a very compact head so it's in the category of mini head lettuce so it does grow a very large head though if you actually put it in the ground but when you put it in the gutters it's going to give you this beautiful beautiful lettuce that's compact it's got a blanched heart very very firm and tight uh, just like a romaine lettuce but you've got the buttery texture of the bib lettuce here so it's really the best of both worlds ever since i've discovered these types of uh, varieties these mini uh lettuce heads i've been growing only that so they are f by far superior to uh regular romaine lettuces you would find uh in the, in the garden centers for example or the hardware store these are always heirloom old varieties which I have nothing against but they're just not as good as these guys so this one here is called new ham and new ham is actually an improved little gem so uh, New Ham is also a half bib and half romaine lettuce, so half butter, half romaine, uh, but this one is completely green, so it's got a different growth habit, but it does produce a very, very tight, compact head, blanched in the middle. Uh, it's called a sucrine in France and in Europe, where they grow pretty much only that, especially in the UK, it's very, very popular. I've seen them in the grocery stores as well, so they call them little gem lettuces. So, um, so without further ado, guys, let's just get to actually planting shall we? All right, so one of the things I recommend you do before you start planting is moisten that medium. So this one is already pre-moistened. I've uh, passed with the water gun a few minutes earlier, maybe 15 minutes ago. So that's step number one. The other step that you must not forget about, which is very important, is incorporating fertilizer in your medium. I know you guys are going to tell me you keep saying that in every video, but yeah, I'm trying to basically hammer that notion in that if you plant in a medium that does not have fertilizer in, you can hope all you want it's not going to grow nicely and you're just going to run into problems so as opposed to a lot of plants that i grow that grow fruit or flowers these guys are grown for the leaves so when we grow plants for leaves we don't want any or well we do want a little bit of phosphorus and potassium but not a lot just to say that the plant has gotten a bit so it can actually perform the functions that are afforded by these nutrients however the one nutrient we really really want in large quantity is nitrogen nitrogen will develop leaves and you know what it happens to be specifically what we're trying to achieve here we're trying to grow as much leaf as possible because by the time these lettuces go to flower of course they're not edible anymore and so we're going to plant that top level here with that new ham lettuce that little gem green lettuce so super simple stuff actually you just have to grab see the beauty of having uh, seedlings like this is that once they're to a certain size you know that they've actually filled the plug tray, the, the little cell that they have with roots. So I've just watered these, but because they have such great root systems, they actually hold together. So you just got to pull by the base and you've got a beautiful little seedling here that's just asking for water, heat, light and space to develop. So we're going to give it just that. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go to our top gutter here and we're just going to put two fingers in and we're going to make an opening a little space for our puck and we're going to drop that in and that's it when you're planting in rain gutters by the way don't start at the exact edge don't start at the very end of the gutter leave two or three inches so that the roots can actually also spread in that direction so we've got one here now for lettuces like this for mini heads we find that six inches is actually perfect spacing. If you guys watched my previous video, you remember that six inches is more or less the length of the average hand. So we're gonna use that as well. So putting my hand here, would put my second lettuce about here, right here. So we're gonna grab another seedling, same thing, by the base, pull gently, and they all come. See, this is soaked actually, look. If you actually squeeze this, there's water coming out. But because the root system is well developed, they can hold it. So we're going to put that in. Here we go. And we're going to go grab another seedling again. 
another six inches. So my hand right here, boom. I'm not sure how many we're gonna be able to fit uh, in that one gutter. Uh, I was debating growing it in the full size system with 10 foot gutters, but then I figured, you know what? This is my backyard. We're not gonna eat that much salad, so. It's better I actually use the space more efficiently by leaving it available for things we're actually going to eat. And so we're going to be planting this row here. I'm going to plant a row of the sago land as well to show you guys. And then the trick is if you want lettuce on a regular basis is to stagger your planting. So what we call a perpetual harvest. So I would put these seedlings in this week and then next week I would put another batch and the week after that and the one after that as well. And because these guys are going to take four weeks from seedlings, by the time I harvest this one gutter, well, I'm going to be able to replant it and the week after that I'll be able to harvest a second one and basically I'll be able to be on a continuous cycle of harvesting one gutter per week. This is what we do on the farm, by the way. So again, right here. You can leave more space if you'd like, but in my experience, more space does not necessarily yield better results in systems like this. So uh, six inches really is the optimal spacing. And so that's it, we're almost done. We're gonna put in a couple more plants. Here we go. As you guys can see, this is very easy because the systems are ready, because the gutters are there and we're not gonna have to weed or worry about snails or anything like that, because we've got seedlings and because we've got some experience, but you're gonna be fast even without experience anyway. I mean, what you see is what you get. You don't need to, there's no special tricks that I'm hiding from you guys. Because it's a little tight in the end here, I'm gonna put a last one there, uh, but it may be a little short on space uh, at the end of the gutter completely, but it should be fine. Here we go. So let's just count how many we have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we've got 10 lettuces. So 10 lettuces in the five foot section that gives us about six inches on average per lettuce, which is great. Uh, that's what we want. So I'm just gonna take a little pause right here. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna plant the other tray and I'll give you guys some final tips on how to make sure that you get some killer heads. All right, well, let's plant our Segaland lettuces. If you guys notice, there's two things to notice right now, actually. Uh, one thing is that one of the uses for these systems, or actually it's not really designed like that, but it, it just so happens that it's useful like this way, is that you can actually put your trays on the gutters you haven't planted yet. So if you guys notice, I had them up here before, now I've got them down here. So they're ready to work. I've already lined up all the lettuces that I'm gonna plant. Now, another cool trick is that if you're planting more than one gutter, you don't need to do the spacing with your hand thing uh, more than once because now you can just align your seedlings with you know, the, the lettuce that's planted right above. So that just saves us a few more seconds and a little bit of work. Let's just go in and plant these guys real quick. So if you guys notice, I'm going much, much faster than I was going before. Uh, but yeah, I think you guys got the, got the trick or got the, the information from the previous segment. So I don't need to really go into depth here. And so just like that, I've got these 10 lettuces planted here. So beautiful stuff. We know our spacing is great. Don't forget to also press the soil a little bit around your seedlings uh, just to make sure you've got good root uh, soil contact. But we're going to be watering them anyway, which is going to improve that as well. So get them standing straight. And that's it. I'm going to go and get the watering one. I'll show you guys how to give that a good, good watering and some final tips. All right, we got the watering wand or gun, sorry. We're gonna give these guys a good watering. We're gonna put that on shower mode. Just try to be gentle. These guys were just transplanted. We don't wanna shock them or, or do anything that's going to stress them or set them back. So turn that on. If you guys remember my previous videos, we never blast our gutters. We never blast our plants. 
we go gentle. And as you can see, even going gentle, these ceilings are slightly stretched and they're all keeling over. So that's fine because as soon as they, uh, they absorb that moisture, they're going to stand back up. But in the meanwhile, we just didn't want to brutalize them too much uh, because, yeah, we just want to basically get some water in there, get that root soil contact going and uh, give them their first hydration. At the same time, when we're watering on top like this, we're watering the leaves. So we're cutting down evapotranspiration, which is the water that is being transpired through the leaves and lost in the air. Uh, so that's going to give them a 15 minutes or so of rest and stress-free environment for them to kind of realize what's happening to them and adjust. So if you want, you don't have to do anything. If you want, you could just set them straight again, but that's not really necessary. The plant's going to set itself straight anyway. I'm just doing that right now because I'm here and I got you guys on camera. And so that's it. There's not, no need to do much more than this. All right, now keep these guys watered. Lettuce does very, very badly when it goes uh, through drought stress or when it's short on water. Lettuces are 95 or 97% water. I can't remember, but it's majority of the, the mass of a lettuce is water. So it grows quickly when it has moisture available and all the other conditions, of course. But make sure they don't keel over, make sure they don't go limp. Uh, keep them watered. If you've put enough fertilizer, you should be good to go until harvest. If not, you can top dress, which I'll be doing probably in 10 or 15 days because I don't think I've put that much fertilizer. I'll watch for signs of nitrogen deficiency, uh, but I'll make another video and show you guys also how to detect that and how to remedy that situation. My name is Khaled. You guys know me as the plant charmer. I do this, 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 and all kinds of other stuff to help you guys get great in the garden. I'll see you next time. Keep it green.